and I'm the Industry Practice Leader for Banking and Capital Markets for Capgemini in Australia. So, uh, is it the first Cybers for you? If not, then what's the difference between this Cybers and, let's say, last year's Cybers? Well, I've been attending Cybos for more than 15 years now, uh, on and off, and uh, I'm finding this Cybos terribly interesting because there's a very strong influence on innovation and the transformation landscape. In particular, the role of the fintech is taking a very strong prominence in terms of what type of innovation is being introduced in order to change the market. Look, I think the fundamental opportunity for banks is to leverage their position of trust in the marketplace and to be able to educate their customers to the opportunity that presents from the new and emerging mobile technologies in particular that's transforming banking from a high street activity to an activity that takes place on your mobile device. Capgemini has got a very comprehensive capability profile focused on API enablement and we're very familiar with the requirements of the Payment Systems Directive 2 and we're anticipating what sort of opportunities are going to be introduced by that trans regulatory transformational change in order to be able to ensure trust, particularly in the payments infrastructure. We also see the likely outcome of the convergence between what has traditionally been high value, low volume payments and low value, high volume payments. We see that convergence coming together and we've seen the same technologies that have ensured the security of our high value transactions being applied to the low value transactions equally. And this will drive greater consumer confidence in the use of their mobile device in order to be able to make and receive payments. This year Capgemini are working alongside a fintech partner who we're very optimistic about. Uh, this organisation has been able to create a new invention that allows for a consumer to be able to issue a payment request and it uses a new communications interface based on Bluetooth low energy in order for a similarly uh, enabled customer to be able to then make that payment from a card or a bank account or a limit of preference which we find terribly innovative and it also will drive out fraud in particularly the card not present marketplace as it will introduce the concept of a card holder being present in that transaction. Cybos, I think next year will be terribly interesting. We'll see the maturity of the fintechs come into their own. So fintech will no longer be something that is not familiar, it'll be something that's embedded in the DNA of our banking service providers. So I'm terribly optimistic that we'll see the continued growth in non-cash electronic transactions. We're forecasting well over 10% growth heading into the 2016-2017 period. And with that level of growth, that attracts opportunity and innovation. And so I'm sure we're going to see that a strong focus. And we will have been, you know, dealing with the risk uh, that associates with cyber security and fraud and will have solutions in place that continue to embed trust in consumers in the banking service providers in order to be able to manage their money.